a very mini haul and mainly a shoe unboxing for you. Um, and these will definitely be my last shoes before I go away and therefore my last shoes for at least four months, if not five months. I'll do the haul first and these are a couple of bits from Chic Nova. The first of which is this gold um, embellished knit dress and it's really really pretty, very baroque which is kind of of the moment so yes I like this very much and the quality of this is really good it's very it's quite thick and it's nice and heavy it's also got some slightly shiny thread running through it so it adds that extra pop to the gold which I think is really nice and the second bit that I received this stuff was sent to me to show you guys by the way was this silk shirt um, with tassels on the front which I absolutely love and this is from the brand S-I-N-Y and I got it in a large and um, Asian websites tend to have very small sizes which is good when I want something fitted but when I want something oversized it's slightly harder to uh, achieve but this one does nicely and I really like the quality of this as well it feels extremely soft and silky um, it just feels amazing so Really, really pleased with those two pieces. And now onto the shoe unboxing. This will be no surprise to you that watched my um, Jeffrey Campbell shoe collection because I said I would get these if they came on sale and they did. And it is these Jeffrey Campbell Coltrane's um, in the wine rub off colour. Um, and that is what Karma Loop calls them. And it's also what Soul Strap calls them. Nasty Gal tends to give different names to its pieces on the website. Um, so they call it Oxblood because it is obviously a dark red colour. Um, but yeah, they're all the same shoe. I was confused myself. All of the photos on each of the websites are taken in different lights. So it was a bit confusing telling whether they were the same shoe, but they are. Um, these ones are from Karma Loop and they went on sale and I got them for 25% off. So I'm very, very pleased with that. I'm sure they'll go on a bigger sale um, at some point, but I wanted to um, buy them whilst I was still in the country. So um, yeah, I got them for 25% off, which is amazing. And if you don't know, the Coltrane's are obviously a cutout boot, which are very in fashion at the moment. I think the trend was somewhat started by Jeffrey Campbell in the first place. I'm not sure I could be wrong there. Um, but yes, and they've got lots of grip on the bottom, which is really, really good. I've been out in the snow and ice in them, and they've done really well sticking to the floor. These do come up um, quite small. I would recommend going half a size up. I didn't go half a size up and they are small. They're not like crazy small so that they're uncomfortable to wear but they're definitely like my toes touch the end and everything. So um, I would go half a size up. They've got two big buckles, one on the front and one on the side. Um, I'm actually quite pleased that I got the smaller size um, because I have quite small ankles. So if you are a small ankled person it might be worth going for your normal size. Um, because this means I can do them up really quite tight around my ankle um, and around my foot as well because my feet are quite narrow. They're very comfortable, easy to walk in obviously because they are um, boots and not heels but and they've got a little bit of a platform on the soles so they give you a little bit of height um, but nothing crazy. They're in quite a shiny leather and the leather is rock hard like this isn't soft leather or anything I think it's because it needs to maintain the shape of the shoe with the cutouts um, so yeah they're kind of almost patent um, so they're a little bit shiny just in case you were wondering and they also do this in a green rub off which I think is really nice and then they obviously do kind of black distressed black I think there are some ones with silver down the front panel which are on sale on Nasty Gal now and there was some fuchsia ones with like fuchsia parts somewhere <laughs> I can't remember because there are a few of these floating about but I really liked the red ones but the great thing about these is that they'll be good for summer and winter because you've got the cutouts but you can wear socks in the winter and I was out in the snow in them the other day with um, two pairs of tights on and they felt fine like they weren't significantly colder so they're definitely good for both seasons which is nice and then in the summer they'll look really cool with just bare legs so yes overall I'm really really pleased with these um, and oh and Office is carrying a white pair actually um, but white shoes just don't do it for me I don't know why I've been looking at them for a while but like I said I was waiting for them to go on sale before I bought them and that is a good tip in general guys if you're thinking about buying Jeffrey Campbell's wait for the shoes that you want to come on sale because it is almost certain that they will um, obviously check 
just check occasionally to check they still have your size and they're not going to sell out and do a tardy on you. So the tardies went on sale for ages so um, you will you can always save money on Jeffrey Campbell's and that is something I've only learned in the re past few months but it's definitely already saved me a lot of money. That is the end of my little video about my shoes and my mini mini haul. I hope you enjoyed it guys and I will see you all again very soon. Take, take off your coat